Hey, I'm Sam Saunders. It's so great to be here this week for the Club Car Championship. It's just an awesome place to be, especially for me, coming back uh, two months after a, uh, a tough injury skiing, but really excited to be competing this week on the Corn Ferry Tour and to be here at Marshwood, a place where I've got a little family history, makes it even that much more special. On January 15th, I was skiing with my wife and kids and uh, I like to go fast and I was going fast and hit some ice unfortunately and, and kind of jammed my leg into a hole and I broke my left tibia. So called my doctor and I said, hey, looking forward to wrist surgery in the morning, but I think I just broke my leg and he was nice enough to get me in and x-rayed my leg and he said, yeah, you had a tibial plateau fracture and I had both my knee and my wrist done the same day. You know, you got to get determined and you got to get tough. It's something we talked about all the time. He, he you know, he told me you got to be tough and, and, you know, it's not an easy career. It, it's great when it's great, but when it's bad and things don't go the way you want, whether it's injury or you're just not playing well, you got to get tough and you got to be able to stay positive and get through it. And I know, you know, for me during this time, I've, I've spun this thing into the biggest positive ever. I mean, I've gotten the last two years of my life when my kids are 12 and seven years old now, I've gotten to spend at home being with them and I've enjoyed that, but now I know it's time to really focus and, and if I'm able to get back and, and get back onto the PGA Tour like I, like I should be, I feel like, uh, I'll never take that for granted again and, and I'll also appreciate the break that I've gotten in the middle of my career to enjoy a pretty, you know, imperative time in my kid's life, I felt like. We just thought this was a great opportunity to memorialize his contribution to putting this place on the map sure. and you know creating one of the largest private clubs in the country yeah. so it's an just... incredible place I mean it's in what you guys have done here with this clubhouse yeah. Palmer Steakhouse here and Arnie's Tavern it's just it's unbelievable yeah. you know and it, it's something I know he would be proud of and as I mentioned to you he'd certainly want to have a drink right there at that bar and have right. a steak right over here so yeah. we've got so many great pieces of art around here and you know we've come to one of my personal favorites where, you know, back back before he had the fast jets, he was flying himself <laughs> around in little prop planes. And, uh, you know, it's, it's pretty cool. And this is a very fitting photo because for him, it was so much more than just golf. You know, we all know that it was it was his relationship with the fans. But aviation was also a huge part of, of his career. And yeah. this is a this is a wonderful setting. We're one of the only two clubs in the world that have two of your grandfather's designs. <clears throat> and I remember meeting with your mom and dad and asking if there were any other clubs or facilities that had two of your grandfather's courses and they had to pause and yeah. check into that. But anyway, we're, we're, we're pleased to partner with you as a design consultant and your team with Brandon and yeah. at, at Arnold Palmer Design to do work on this course. Uh, it's a hidden gem here. It's 40 plus years of age and, and uh, again your grandfather designed it so we're well it's it's pretty cool for me you know kind of just getting started after you know I, I still continue wanting to play but I have aspirations to get into course design and, and you know I'm very passionate about it and to be able to come back here to one of my granddad's first golf courses and and team up with our guys Brandon and the Palmer Design Company and, and to be able to come here to, it's a great golf course and so much potential to just like I said we can just get it back to that next level yeah. and it's going to be a great test for the pros when they come here and try to get into the professional golf scene of things but also most importantly it's still a fun golf course for the members to play and a playable accessible golf course for members and that's to me, that's what makes something great. You know, it, it can challenge the best in the world, but also, you know, members can get out and enjoy it and not feel like they got beat up at the end of the day. Right.